Okay, one more video and I'm done talking about wiretapping for a long time. PA's wiretapping law is too restrictive. So this poor guy from Pennsylvania, right here it says Pennsylvania is one of just 11 states with two party consent laws. So only one of the 11 states are probably all Commonwealth. Um are have these strict wiretapping laws. So Roger Ryan, okay, so and just like he was in the most calm and cool manner. And so like I was too, I was stressed out, which caused me to record but as you can see i was being nice saying ma'am i'm here for my transcript as she continues to give me the runaround as i'm dealing with still to this day not for getting my transcript but now with getting my appeals filed correctly with superior court so let's all stipulate that he had good reason for that Okay, let's just stipulate that Roger Ryan may have not handled this meeting with Northwest Middle School principal and other school officials, officials in the most calm and cool manner. So maybe he wasn't so calm and cool. But as it says here, he might have had good reason for that. He was upset because his daughter was being harassed in school. So the man secretly recorded the meeting with the school reps. According to court documents, blah, 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 blah. Um, so to review, a man is upset because he thinks his ch daughter is being bullied in school. He meets with officials to discuss it. And the upshot is that he's charged with a wiretapping felony. All right. So this is where, it, where does it, it get good here? Okay. That seems like misplaced priorities on the police and school officials and the law, correct? Aren't these misplaced priorities on my entire life with everything going on on me, uh, on with me in my cases? Um, the court will have to decide the facts about the case. Um, let's see. Basically, the law says that all parties must consent before the audio, la, 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 la. Um, okay, so you can record a school board meeting without permission, but not necessarily a meeting with the school principal. Judge orders wiretapping charge dismissed against Unilife whistleblower. All right, so this is a whistleblower, maybe. And the judge is ordering it dismissed. I'll have to look into that later. But how many people out there are aware of this law? In this age of phones that can take photos and videos and immediately upload them for the world to see, you have to figure Pennsylvania's wiretap law is broken hundreds of times every day. Not out of malice, but out of ignorance. So obviously, I didn't know I was doing anything the fuck wrong. And they want, they don't like my videos, but they're still not wrong. I have to do them. You might be a criminal and not even realize it if you've recorded audio of people in a private setting without asking their permission. So consider this case a word of it to the wise. And now a word to our lawmakers. Let's change Pennsylvania's two-party or actually multi-party consent law. Let's change it. It's too restrictive. Like my whole life because of this county. It's too restrictive. It turns too many people into unwitting criminals. It turns too many people into unwitting criminals. Yes, we know ignorance of the law is no excuse, but really in this case, it's kind it kind of is it's kind of an excuse. Right? In this case it's kind of an excuse, just how I feel. Um, so then it talks again, Pennsylvania is just one of the 11 states. How many states do we have, people? Um, some argue it's too restrictive law. 
um, is a matter of protecting privacy. But in some cases, what this law does is protect people who have done bad things. And this is the truth. But in some cases, what this law does is protect people who have done bad things. So it's protecting all the people who have done bad things to me. This law to try to get me to shut up and, 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 and murder, murder my whole life over this shit. Um, imagine, for instance, you're a victim of sexual abuse and you decide you want to get incriminating evidence about your abuser. So you re secretly record a conversation in which he admits his misdeeds. In most cases, that would lead, that would be legal, but not in Pennsylvania. What might happen in such a case is that you might be charged rather than your harasser, or rather than your abuser. This is what's happening to me. What might happen in such a case is that you might be charged rather than your abuser. Police have even raised concerns about this because now there's body cameras and they're fear they could be found in violation. It's time for the lawmakers to update this law with today's technology and common public practices in mind. A parent concerned about his child should not face a felony simply for wanting to re record a conversation. Amen.